Hey sweet babies, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you like fragrance, makeup, skincare, real people, and real talk, definitely subscribe to my channel. So today we are talking about the new fragrance from Replica, which is on a date. Now, if you're not new to my channel, you know I am a Replica stan. I am a Replica stan. I love the Replica house. Now I know Replica is a hit or a miss for a lot of people. And a lot of people don't like the fact that they're all EDTs and don't last super long. At least the ones in the white bottles are. And you know, some of them are long lasting, some of them not so much. Now the reason why I'm such a Replica stan, even though they're all EDTs, some of them don't last long, some of them do, you know. But the reason why I'm such a Replica stan, and I will retry them and retry them until I like get it, is because they really do bring a memory to a fragrance. So with most fragrances, like you have the memory already associated with it because you've worn it and had a memory, um, a purse, it reminds you of a person, a place, uh, you know, just an event, like it reminds you of somewhere that you've already been. But replica fragrances will give you a memory of somewhere you've never even been before. You'll smell the fragrance and it'll take you to that place. Just like sailing day, for instance, I've never been on a yacht, like a real yacht. I've been to a boat party and you know what I mean? It's, it's a big old boat with three levels and you know, it's a whole bunch of people. It's like a club on a boat. I've been to that, but I mean like a yacht, like a luxury yacht. I've never been on one of those. But when I put on sailing day, it takes me there. I feel like we are on a yacht in the middle of the Mediterranean and you know, I'm laying on the front of the yacht in my bikini, okay, all oiled up, you know, with my suntan lotion and my oils and all of that, with my big sun hat on, my big glasses on, okay, and I got my little spritzer, okay, mojito, whatever, sangria, something cold, and I'm sitting there just looking amazing and feeling amazing on the front of this big, beautiful yacht, and the, I smell the ocean, I see the beautiful land, you see what I'm saying? It paints a picture, okay, it paints a whole picture, and that's why I'm such a replica stan. So, when the new On A Date fragrance came out, I was stalking it. I was thirsty. I'm like, why would they not release it in the United States first? I had a whole attitude about it. But finally got my hands on it. And whew, I got something to say, Chad. I got, I got a few things to say, okay? I done had it for like two weeks now. And whew, this was a roller coaster. It really, really was a roller coaster ride. And it still kind of is. So this is what the box looks like. The words are kind of blurred out, but you can see them on a date in the summertime, on a vineyard or something to that effect. And it says province 2014, grapes and roses and a memory in a fragrance. So I put the notes up for you. It starts off with a black currant syrup, some pink pepper, some bergamot. Then you got geranium and rose and divana in the middle. And then you've got vetiver, patchouli musk and moss in the base. Here is what the beautiful fragrance looks like. The juice is nice, it, like a pinky pink color, really, really pretty. And just to show you how much I've used, I've used about that much. And I've gave it a really good test, like a really good test. Like I had to really spray it basically every day to try to figure this fragrance out. Cause when I say I was confused, I was confused. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray it inside this because I already have a fragrance on, but I've sprayed it on my skin several times. So let's go ahead and spray it. Mm. It actually smells better on the box than on my skin, girl. Okay, so let's talk about what happened when I first got the fragrance. When I first got the fragrance, it smelled sour and it smelled kind of musty on me. And I was like, what in the heck is that? That Divina, I don't know if my skin works well with Divina. And then vetiver. Now vetiver can get kind of musty on me too. Like I don't know why it goes sour-ish on my skin sometimes. I have to do certain body care routines for it to not do that. Okay, so for example, like I got bald to freak. If I don't do like a lemon type of skincare routine with that, I, that vetiver turns funny on me and I don't like it. And this has that same type of vetiver in it. So I have to put the right body care combo to go with it. 
so it took it a little minute like when i first got this it was super super green on me like all i could smell was green um i did get the sweetness from the um the black currant i got that and a little bit of the rose i got that but it was really really green on me and i was like ah i don't know if i liked it this is actually a pretty long lasting fragrance like as far as the replica fragrances go i got about five to six hours on this which i was stunned okay and it's funny because when i wore this fragrance i felt like i could smell a man and i could smell a woman do throughout different times of the day so it was really really weird like at one point in the day i could smell roses and kind of the black currant with some greenness but then throughout the day i could smell more of the like moss and more of the pepper and it smelled a little more masculine so it was weird because it was the same day but i was still getting two different things i don't know how that happened but i was like damn i'm really on the day it's really a man and a woman like it's crazy this is definitely a unisex scent to me people were saying that it smells super feminine to them to me it does not smell super feminine it does not throughout the fragrance i got the black syrup you know the black currant syrup and i guess that's supposed to give you that wine feeling like you're drinking wine but it's not hitting it like how like bloody wood does with that has a red wine accord in it or notes in it you can smell the real red wine you can actually smell like a red wine that you were drinking like this doesn't i don't get that with this you just kind of get a black currant syrup and it kind of gives it like a sweetness but it's not hitting the nail on the head with the wine like i thought it was going to do if you're not a patchouli lover i don't know if you would like this either because i feel like the patchouli is pretty prominent in here so as the week went on i kept spraying it and spraying and spraying it and every day that i would spray it it would get a little bit better i would get more of the rose more of the black currant more of the feminine side of it um it didn't smell so sharp and so green so now that it's like two weeks later it definitely smells better i feel do feel like it's more of a summer spring summer type of fragrance um but i would have to be careful with this to make sure that vetiver doesn't get weird and sour on me but the more that i wear it the more that i like it so this is definitely not my favorite replica i don't hate it but i don't love it either i just kind of like it and i've grown to like it I, I definitely wasn't in love with it when i first got it but it has been getting better like i said now i'm getting more of the rose more of the florals you still definitely get that greenness from the moss and the um you know the vetiver you smell the patchouli you smell all of that for real um and you still do keep some of the sweetness from the black currant syrup so so this is just an okay fragrance to me um i do feel like i'm gonna keep it just because i want to wear it in the summertime it seems like it's meant for the summertime and that's when i want to wear it and like i said the more that it's been sitting the more i've been liking it but i'm still not in love with it um do i recommend this fragrance i think you should definitely get a travel spray if a travel spray is available or try a small one and see how it works on your skin i think it's gonna work um more feminine on some people's skin and it's gonna work more masculine on some people's skin like i said i feel like a man and a woman could wear it but a man might feel like it's pulling too floral for him because the the rose is definitely there and the geranium like you do get florals in here so i don't know but then it might pull super mossy vetiver you know patchouli also so you just i don't know i think you should definitely test this out this is definitely not something that i'm just saying run out and buy but if you like replica definitely try a travel size and see how it works on your skin because i feel like this is definitely a tricky one so i'm gonna hold on to it see how it does in the summer like i said it's been getting better but i'm not quite in love with it so that is my opinion on the new replica fragrance on a date hopefully it grows to be a love for me but right now it's just a lie and it just got there <laughs> okay so thank you so much for watching this video please like comment share and of course subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next one bye